Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another macrame plant hanger tutorial for you. I wanted to make one that was a bit more traditional. I also wanted to add wooden beads to this one. I've never added wooden beads to any of my hangers before. And a few of you guys have asked me how to do that. So I wanted to do that for you guys today. If you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump right on into things. For supplies, you guys are going to need macrame cord. I got this one off of Amazon. This is three millimeter cord. I will link it for you down below. A pair of scissors, a wooden ring, or a metal ring. I actually got this from the thrift store and this whole thing was like a dollar. I think they might have been for the shower or curtains, but I was like, hey, look at that perfect wooden ring. So these wooden rings, they also sell them on Amazon. I'll link some down below. You will also need four wooden beads. I got these from Michaels, but I can also link some from Amazon down below. Your first step is going to be to cut six pieces of rope and each rope cord length will be roughly 10 feet long. I am planning on making a short plant hanger. Um, it's going to replace the one that I have in my little corner in my living room. And I wanted a nice short one that's up high in the corner. I have very short ceilings. We live in a basement suite. So if you guys are wanting something longer, all you have to do is just make your cords longer. So you can make them 15 feet and carry on whatever pattern we decide to do. It's really simple. My goal is always to kind of give you guys tools to create your own and you of course can duplicate mine exactly but honestly this type of stuff, the cord length, it just means that you'll have a shorter macrame with shorter cord but if you make it longer, you know, you're not going to mess it up, you're just going to have like a longer macrame. Your next step is going to be to find the middle. This is my middle and I have them all together. We are simply going to pull them through like this. We're not going to do any knots or anything like that. You can check the bottoms, make sure it's right in the middle. And then we are going to hang it up on the wall or I'm going to use my clothing rack back here and we're going to start our first knot. I am going to be teaching you guys a new one slash I'm about to learn a new knot, so let's learn this together. I'm going to show you guys how to tie what is called a gathering knot. So what we do is we cut a little shorter piece of string. We then fold one of the tops down just a little bit like this. Flip it the other way. Take our plant hanger strings, put it on top of them like this. I know it's hard to kind of tell, but I'm just basically taking that folded piece right at the top. Then I take this little extra string that's hanging from it and this is my first time doing this legit just watched a tutorial on how to do it <laughs> and it looks like we just start wrapping neatly around and make sure you keep this little piece here sticking out so we are wrapping and I'm trying to layer them really nicely, nice and clean. And you can see that the loop is sticking out right here. So we have our extra string and our little loop. So from the top, we put the string inside of the loop, put it inside of the loop. Then we pull our upper string kind of is gonna tuck inside of that cord you just wrapped. And now that it's kind of stuck inside, we're gonna cut these two strings. And that is your gathering knot. There's this incredible, incredible Instagram that I, they're always posting these tutorials and it's like really easy little quick videos of these different knots. So I will link that Instagram down below because it's really helpful and even I'm learning because 
I don't know everything. Now that we did our gathering knot, I separated my cords into groups of four. I just put them up on there so I could show you guys these groups of four. If you haven't already, go check out my three basic macrame knot tutorial. That's gonna give you guys these basic cords I'm about to do, more specifically the square knot. And once you guys know the square knot, then you can come back here and make your macrame plant hanger. Let's get started with some square knots. I just did eight square knots on one side, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another eight on my other two strings. finished up our eight square knots. I'm really wanting to keep this minimal and a clean design and it just happens to be really easy when you do it that way. So we're going to just drop down a few inches and do more square knots. I'm going to do something a little different that might seem silly but it saves you cord and kind of, I guess, fixes a problem. When you are doing square knots, what you'll find is that your two end cords are the only ones that are getting used and your cords in the center are still really, really long. So these ones are getting shorter and shorter and shorter and these ones are essentially staying that same really long length. In order to fix this problem and essentially not just run out of cord so quickly, what I'm going to do, and it might look a little bit funny, but I feel like overall it will be totally fine. What I'm going to do is essentially take these two cords on the ends, bring them to the center, and take our two cords that were in the center and put them to the outside. So we brought our outside cords to the center and our center cords to the outside. Can you guys kind of see? So we brought our center cords onto the outside and we brought our outside cords to the center. And now, kind of holding it like this because it will not want to do that the first time, hold it in place and tie a square knot. And then just continue on. So you can see it looks a little bit different, but it kind of just blends right in. And this way, now our shorter cords are in the center and our longer ones are back onto the outside. So we're going to just do four square knots. We're gonna do this on each one of them. Now that we did our four square knots, each down here, what we're going to do is add in our little bead. I am lucky and I do think that these holes are wide enough to fit this three millimeter cord through, but if you can't find ones with a wide enough hole, you guys can just like drill, what are those things called? I don't know what they're called, but I know you can drill the holes bigger. So, you know, if you find wooden beads and you need bigger holes in them, just drill bigger holes. But I think that this is gonna work for me. So what you do is, in your square knot, take one of the center cords. If you have a really big hole in the wooden bead, then you can totally put both through and it'll actually look better, but mine's not big enough and I don't feel like drilling today. So I'm taking one of the cords in the middle and I'm going to tape off the bottom. I actually already did it on this one. Usually I would use masking tape, but I ran out and I only had this invisible tape. I didn't think it was gonna work, but it did, so yay. You take your bead with your tape. I only tape it because I think it's easier to push through when it's taped. I don't have to worry about it fraying because macrame cord frays a lot. Pull the bead up to the top, kind of put this other middle string behind it and try and hold it in place. Maybe I have my finger pinched here. Try and hold it in place while you tie your square knot around it. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Okay, that is so cute. And then we are going to do 
three more square knots below it. How freaking cute, guys. That is so cute. I finished all three and I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, it's okay to have imperfections. Mine are not exactly the same height all the way across because clearly I didn't start them perfectly, but it's really okay because when the plant is hanging in here, it's really hard to tell the exact height differences. If you guys are wanting a long plant hanger, then right here, just continue your square knots. Just keep going like as far down as you feel like is necessary. Maybe leave about two and a half feet at the bottom to finish everything off. But if you're like, I cut mine way longer, keep going with those square knots. And again, if the one, if the outside strings are getting really short, you can do that little switch up again and even them out. So yeah, lots of possibilities, but we are going to finish it off because it's really easy today, guys, really simple. So I'm dropping Maybe, I don't know, whatever, a little bit down. Same gap as was up top. We'll drop down again. And we are going to just do two square knots. Now that we did our two square knots on all three of them, this is the part where you guys gotta, you gotta visualize with me. So essentially, we have to pretend that a pot is going to sit in here and you can kind of open it up. And by doing that to your own, you will really start to see which chords we are going to combine together. When I put a plant in here that these two chords are going to combine with these two chords. Does that make sense? And then these two chords are going to combine with these two. And then the same go for the one at the back. So if this helps you when you're making it, kind of just hold a pot in there and you can, heck, you could even tape them together if you're really struggling with this part. Have somebody hold the plant for you and you can go from there. Okay. So we did that. Now take that middle, take that middle back piece, take the two side cords, connect them to these two. Now we take the only two cords left, these two over here, the back one and the side one, and tie another two square knots. To finish off, we are going to do a gathering knot just like we did up top. We are going to take our little spare piece of string and I don't know, just a little bit farther down. What did I do? Oh yeah, we take it, take it, fold it like so, put it on top and then we start to oh you know I don't know if I made this cord long enough we'll see then we wrap it oh look at that guys I, I didn't cut my string long enough okay let's get a longer string take two <laughs> fold it Put the cord in through the top and then we take our one at the top and pull. Okay, and once it's tucked under, you're left with two cords and we cut these. 
So I wanted to test it out with something in it and I decided that this needs to be a few inches farther down. You can totally just slide it down. I have to do it two-handed, but you can totally just pull and slide it down. And last but not least, you guys are gonna choose just about where you want to trim the bottom and cut it. You can honestly leave this multiple lengths. It's totally up to you what your preference is. I will cut it about here and I'll show you what that looks like at the big reveal. And that is it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you guys can venture out and create your own plant hanger. If you guys liked today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe. If you like this, share it with your friends, your family. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.